Hello, this is Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com and this video is from Nick in Maryland. Alright Nick, so these are your mirrors. This is the passenger side right here on my left. I mean, I, I can barely see what I'm shooting, but I'm concentrating on this frame right here. So if that's the case, then I'll just do it like this. This is your passenger side, uh, which came first and driver's side was delivered later so um, here are the new cables here as you can see the motor wires are a little different they're molded in there so i just uh <clears throat> put any uh, put some heat shrink wrap over just to contain the insulation and i also did it inside the motor there inside the motor case so that too was taken care of um that's that so we're gonna do a quick test here on the bench first just to show you that the mirrors are operational so the mirror is attached to one of the throttle body cases here that I just makeshift kind of holder if you will because you don't want it to do it uh, on, in your hands because mirror will fold and something can get jammed and whatnot so basically I'm gonna just uh, this is folding situation fold unfold that works as you can see um, I don't know about the heating heating circuits uh, circuit on the, the actual glass but that's the actual glass circuit it's inside the glass here's the heater for the mirror so I'm just concentrating on the wires themselves the motion as you can see of the actual mirror up down left right that was at the limit actually so as you can see mirror is operational and obviously no more shorts <clears throat> in this particular mirror what i'm gonna do is i happen to have a car now a customer's car which is a 96 also so what I will do is, <clears throat> I'm thinking of putting these mirrors on his car real quick, just to show you operation on the vehicle. So you know that they do work. This is the driver's side. This came with the glass. So let's put it aside here. Let's mount the passenger side. So the passenger side came without glass. So it was delivered first, just a case, outer outer case, but no no glass. So you would have to attach the glass later on when you receive the mirror. Um, I don't know how how you do these. I mean, like how what's your preferred method of mounting the actual glass to the mirror? Some people they the glass in first and then put the cover back on it is possible to do of course and at the same time it is possible to mount the glass with cover being on to do so you know this is the retainer you have to flip the retainer this way so this little piece is open once you mount the mirror you take a pick just flip the retainer to lock it in place so this way the the glass remains on the actual mirror motor um, it's important to know that these little guides I don't know what if you can see it on the video those guides they remain uh, they remain behind what behind wires you see the wires are there so once the mirror opens up the wires will become they end up here not where they are collapsed back in there now so that is that so just be careful with that all right so let's go and uh, just uh, show real quick the other mirror this is folding as you can see it and the mirror motion let's see 
that's left right and up and down and down so as you can see the other side is operational as well now like I said <coughs> I'm thinking of putting these on the car now, the weather allows, it's a little nasty out, but still. I would put them on the vehicle probably, just make you another video real quick, just so you can see that mirrors actually work on the vehicle. Uh, so again, this is the, this is the, um, the passenger side that came in first, so this was done last week. And then I received the driver's side in a separate box. So I did the driver's side as well. A little lubrication on the motor side there. So we should be good to go. Although I'm thinking maybe I will realign this little retainer just slightly. Yeah, I think I will do such, such a thing. I'll probably just realign this just a little more. Okay, so the compressor is off. I think I'm going to line up this pin a little differently but I'll pause this video now because I kind of don't like the way it sits tiny little thing okay so bench test is done so you can see it's operational let me just work on this I want to have this retainer working right because if you're missing this everything in this mirror is important because every tiny little thing and all the lineups they have to be on point because if something is not in properly right the wires will start folding wrongly and they will be caught up in the actual framing. The length of the wires are really important because if they're too long or too short, then they will rip the plug. So tiny little details working on this mirror, um, they're all very important just to make sure that uh, everything is perfect. That's, that's what I'm doing. I don't like this right now, so I'm going to redo it. Um, and that's about it. So let me move on and I'll try to get in... Um, to get into that uh, other car and mount them onto that car because plugs this is exactly the same car so we can actually see them work on the vehicle all right so this is it for me this is victor at historymercedes.com oh actually wait a minute uh let's see if i have yeah so these are the good wires actually these are the ones that came from a better mirror as you can see insulation here is still more or less okay although at the end it started to flake off already so at the connector where the mirror folds these wires were bare the other mirror the passenger side that thing was horrible I mean all those wires were just completely destroyed the insulation was just like flaking off terribly because if you flip the mirror obviously here you would see the insulation was fine as you can tell right here it's pretty nice but at the fold right in there once they exit the uh, the overall loom they were all like gone and touching so that's not good that's just one of the wires um it is maybe here's another one this one was also all bare pretty much insulation flakes off corrosion starting so but further down they're fine because you know it's just they're not suspected to such a heat and uh, motion um, because every time mirror folds in and out the wire goes like this so it tightens up when it folds in and it, it opens up when mirror is open because you know the mirror opens and closes so therefore the wireless changes so that's what it is anyway so that's about it um i'll get you another video when i have it and um this is it this is victor at historymercedes.com mirror repair thank you for watching